How are you doing today, my friends? Mr. Green here, and uh, thought I'd do a little update video on the chickens. Um, they are now five months old and quite big. They are uh, all pretty friendly. My, uh, my kids all chase them around like crazy, which I try not to get them to do because I know it stresses the chickens out, but uh, they, uh, they just can't help it. But they're nice and healthy. They're, uh, they now can free range outside of their pen um, and uh, they seem, you know, extremely happy. So I should hopefully start getting eggs in about a month or so. Um, I've added a whole bunch of things into the coop. I've added this, you know, one by, I think it's one by six board. It goes all the way along there over to their watering hole or uh, the watering bin. Um, a pole down in there, uh, this swing, and uh, yeah, so um, I've also added eaves troughs on the sides. Um, I haven't finished inside there yet, that's for uh, when they start to lay their eggs, so I'm still working on that. But uh, I did put the whole watering system, uh, this one, this pipe here just comes across from the other eaves trough down into here, into this barrel. And then um, this is all just temporary uh, because winter's coming soon anyways. So this is all gonna be, you know, have to be drained for the winter. And then uh, I'm gonna build a proper stand now that I know everything functions properly. Um, so it goes down here to a couple of feeder nipples. You can see right there. And then there's uh, two of those run through, it runs through the wall here. And then there's two nipples right in here. I can show you real quick, I guess. So there's, there's the uh, two nipples inside. And then the feeder that I designed here is just some ABS. Goes through the wall in here, goes down, and then goes into these feeders here. So all that is is a, a T. You take, sorry about the noise. Uh, you just cut the center out here and then um, put another end cap on and I don't glue these ends here so if you need to clean this you can still pull all this apart and it makes it quite easy to clean. Hi. Hi pretty birds. Hi. They're all curious what I'm doing in here just talking to myself. But uh, yeah so then it's just a matter of taking this cap off and all the feed goes down in here. So and it just self feeds. I get about five days. I fill this uh, bucket up out of the big bag. Uh, they are fed all organic too. I only feed them organic feed. Um, it's $25 for, uh, I think it's a 25 pound bag. So that's fine. It's not, it's about a dollar a pound roughly. And they seem very happy. Um, they eat all the grass obviously out there. Um, but uh, this is kind of what you can expect after about five months. Um, they're happy. It's uh, getting down to about nine degrees Celsius at night. So um, they've been nice and warm in the coop. They seem, you know, like they're very happy birds. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on kind of everything that's happened. Uh, inside, I have put some perches up on the top here. And these are just uh, metal painted bars. And then I got like this, uh, like a rubber, like a really, really sticky rubber paint or uh, tape. It's thick. And I wrapped it around there so that they have something to, uh, to claw onto and uh, to keep their balance. And it's easy because their poop always lands in these two rows here from them sitting up there. So it's just, it's perfect. It's easy to clean out. Um, like I said, there's another feeder right in here. And, uh, yeah, I have a heat light up there, which I'll be using in the winter. And I also need, oh, there's a perch here too, so they can watch out the window. But, uh, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll do a, another video here once I, uh, get the chicken coop or the, uh, Lang box done. Um, so I've got a different design for that with, uh, with some paint trays, so... All right, guys. Well, thanks very much for uh, for checking out this video, and uh, please remember to subscribe. Oh, and say I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. 
There's a ton of you guys and I really appreciate it. I've hit over 5,000 subs now and that's a huge milestone for me. I, uh, I couldn't have done it without you guys and I love y'all. So you guys all have a great day. Cheers.